All right, what's up, everybody? Mike O live SGC grading reveal. What's up, Big Scott thirty five? We're gonna try and make this record time. It is at the time of this being live. It is twelve twenty five Eastern Standard Time. I have to leave for the post office in about twenty to twenty five minutes. So. 25 minutes at the most. So we're going to do this as quick as possible. This is a 52 card order. This is SGC lightning fast submission. This was sent out like on a Friday. They received it on a Monday. They graded it on a Tuesday. They shipped it on a Wednesday and then it arrived back on a Friday and we're revealing on Saturday. So door to door service. Unbelievable. SGC just crushing it, getting these orders in and out as soon as possible so we got this stuff's mine and i got some stuff for some others as well so we're going to show them off uh some of them will be handed off in person in atlantic city new jersey at the 2022 national sports collectors convention and the others will uh be shipped back so they're doing a great job would have gotten this revealed last night but had uh had something uh come up so here we go We've got a 2021 Topps Tribute Fernando Tatis Jr. Green serial numbered 1 of 99, which received a SGC 10 Gem Mint. So this one is Lee's, and Lee got a 10. He sent in one card. It's a Tatis for his Padres collection, and he received a SGC 10 Gem Mint. So congrats to Lee. All right, we got a few cards here for... Big Scott 35 who's in the chat. For those who watch the archive, if you guys like uh, watching graded cards, you like sports cards in general, the names, some of the names in here, these guys make videos. You should check them out for sure. I'm sure they'll be posting some comments as well in the archive. Anyway, Big Scott 35, he's got a 2021 Panini Prism Draft Picks Julio Rodriguez prospect card. Received a nine and a half mint plus, nine and a half mint plus on the Julio Rodriguez. We've got the new uh, the new deal here, authentic. So this is a 2016 tops Count Dooku Star Wars Evolution sketch card, and it is authentic. I don't believe they give numerical grades generally on these sketch cards because there is uh, no information here, and we will see with some others there is information. So cool looking card there that card definitely looks great in the tux as it does this it's a 1966 tops of batman chloroform victim received a three an sgc three the vintage stuff looks sensational in the sgc holders final card for big scott 35 1979 tops comics rusty staub received an sgc three so a three on the stub candy wrapper. So cool submission there for Big Scott 35. A little everything, a little oddball baseball, a little new flavor of the week in Julio Rodriguez, some Star Wars, and some Batman. All right, next up, let's get to Mike M, TTM Mike. He also makes videos. He sent in a 2017 SI for kids, Austin Matthews. That received a six and a half, six and a half on the Sports Illustrated for Kids. Here's a sweet card here, 2001 Tops Tribute. Casey Stengel, game worn uniform, a mint nine, mint nine on the Casey Stengel relic, authentic game worn uniform. These look great too. The 2022 Tops Game Within the Game, SGC 10 Gem Mint on the Ichiro. And then also sent in a Rookie of the Year, Jonathan India. A lot of color on that card. Looks really cool. Gem Mint 10 on the Jonathan India game within the game. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm sure submissions uh, are down a little bit with PSA having some specials and being back a little more. And CSG, you know, there's a lot of uh, rivalry right now in grading. There's still a lot of demand for grading. There are more options, more professional options. And, then of course, you have the uh, new companies and 
cheap companies still at it as well. So I'm sure they're all part of it, but I also think SGC has expanded their space, expanded their crew, and they're just able to turn things over. I mean, they told me you know, six months, a year ago, kind of what, not specifics of their plan, but their plan was to you know service and get things through as soon as possible and to never come close to having a backlog. So, so far they're uh, doing all right. All right, these are for Nina, Nina S, 1959 Tops Destruction Crew featuring Minoso, Calavito, and Larry Doby that received an SGC4. SGC4 on that. There's another great one, a 1953 Bowman Color, Roy Campanella SGC4. SGC4 on the Bowman Color Campanella. That looks awesome. And then this one's great. An SGC six on the 1952 Bowman early win, early win for Cleveland. Great looking card. 52 Bowman has really, really good color. Like I'm a little bigger fan of the designs of 50 and 51, but the color in 52 is just absolutely amazing. So that's cool there. All right, we got some cards for Jeremy for Big Smooth. So Big Smooth, he's got a few that got uh, slabbed up. And unfortunately, we knew uh, a few would not be graded, but probably a few more than he would like that were not slabbed. So this one, I think that's like the third time that was denied. And 0 for 3 on the Ken Goldens as well. So I guess SGC does not see uh, Ken Golden as uh, slab worthy. All right, here's the stack of stuff that was not graded. Matthew McConaughey, not. Eminem, not. Barack, not. Donald, not. So maybe they're not getting into the, uh, maybe they're staying out of that political reign unless it's a super uh, mainstream set. Giselle, which I think in the past they, I don't know about this specific card, but I feel like them or someone else was grading uh, some sort of card. Chris Cornell and Vladdy, which is not a shock. So a ton of rejects in this order. But of course, a few did get slabbed. We got the 1988 Panini Smash Hits Bruce Willis. Little bigger card. They put it in the bigger holder. That received an SGC7. Seven on the Bruce Willis. And SGC seven on the 2011 DreamWorks Anchorman, Ron Burgundy. So seven on that one. Definitely a little off center. Um, certainly didn't look the card over that well to see uh, what other issues. See a tiny bit of white on the corner, but seven on the Burgundy. And SGC9 on the 2005 Topps all-time fan favorites, Dr. Jim Beckett, Gold Refractor. It's a pretty cool card there. And then final card that was great, it was a 2020 Decision 2020 Julian Assange Russiagate, which received a 9.5 mint plus. So a wide release Obviously, they uh, sl authenticated, slabbed, and graded that card. But the others, unfortunately, uh, not slabbed. All right, last one outside of mine is for Michael Jericho. He is also on YouTube. So he had one that was rejected, and it's this uh, old judge T96 series of J. Kirkpatrick. So they did not uh, do that one. Rest of the stuff was slab though, and it's a lot of super cool stuff. 2022 Panini Diamond Kings Hank Greenberg Diamond Cuts Autographs Serial Number Four or Five received an SGC Nine. 1910 Piedmont Cigarettes Frank Bowerman One and a Half Fair One and a Half Fair. 1910 Fez Cigarettes, T79 Private, Hanoverian Germany Military Series, four and a half, VG to EX Plus. Really nice color on that. 1950 R423 Hank Greenberg. I think we requested 
just authentication, but they did give it a numerical grade. They graded it a one. Very small card. Uh, unfortunately, not in there straight. I don't know if um can bang it into place, but that's kind of a little bit annoying. All right, 1901, Ogden Cigarettes, Kid McCoy, General Interest, received a 4.5, VG to EX plus, 4.5. All right, we got some information on this one. So this is a 1909 S74 Silks White Barney Pelty Missing Backing Authentic. This one received an authentic and evidence of trimming. So an authentic with information that is fairly new here from SGC, and we got a few like that. All right, 19, uh, 19, 2011 Upper Deck SP Legendary Cuts, Greenberg, Garinger, pair of Hall of Famers, Legendary Dual Cut Signatures, numbered five of five, received a seven. So an SGC seven on the dual. And then last card for Michael is a 1928 Exhibits PCL Jimmy Reese, which also received authentic evidence of trimming. So it looks cool in the slab. And these old school things, I don't know what, if Michael had an, you know something in mind what he wanted on that. Like for me, when I'm sending in the old school stuff, I just I like having them slabbed up. And I, I got some bigger cards too. All right, we'll show off mine. So first one's a dud, complete dud. I I sent this in, figured nine and a half or ten. Uh, not sure what the issues are. I'd have to look at it a little closer again, but eight and a half on the 2022 Topps 582 Montgomery Sets Wander Franco from set four. Love the look of the cards. Received an eight and a half. This, I love this and I want this in the collection, but honestly, this I might have to pop this on eBay at an outrageous price because Julio Rodriguez stuff's going crazy right now especially after the display in the home run derby. He doesn't have a lot of rookie cards out right now, and he certainly doesn't have a lot of graded rookies. The 2022 Topps 582 Montgomery Club, Julio Rodriguez from set four, SGC 10 Gem Mint on the Julio Rodriguez. So that is so cool. For the Harper Collection, 2022 Topps Now, Bryce Harper, Road to Opening Day. This is the Orange Parallel, serial numbered one of five. Received a Gem Mint 10. From Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary, which is a set that I enjoy, um, and I look forward to uh, collecting some Phillies rainbows. Sent a couple cards in just to see how they do. Biggest problem with these has been centering, um, and then obviously you got to watch out for the chrome surfaces as well. But uh, sent in a Cabrian Hayes rookie blue refractor, blue mini diamond refractor, numbered to 199, received an SGC 10 gem mint. There's another Harper, Tops Now, 2022 Tops Now, card number 304. This is the blue, serial number 49, received a 9.5 mint plus. Bryce Harper, Refractor. This is from Gypsy Queen, Chrome. Um, so the Gypsy Queen, the hobby boxes have two Chrome cards per box. They are all Refractors this year. They look really, really nice for player collectors. Gem 10 on that. Finest Flashbacks, another favorite set of mine. 2021 Finest Flashbacks, JT Real Muto, Gold Refractor, number 29 of 50, Gem Mint 10. Gem 10 on the JT Real Muto. This is one I recently got in from Triple Crown 24 to 2021 Tops Finest, Red Refractor, serial numbered 1 of 5 of Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper knew this wasn't perfect. Good day, I guess it could have gotten a 10. I figured 995 had one little issue that it's one of those things that you have to really, really look, and you're probably not even going to see it through a holder. Um, so it received a 9.5 mint plus. Um, so that's awesome. Color match red refractor Bryce Harper. Cannot go wrong with that. Got a 2022 Tops on Demand Schwerber Harper Dynamic Duels Talk of the Town. Really cool insert card. Looks nice. Looks great in the SGC Tux. Gem Mint 10. I will be in AC on Wednesday. 
that's when the Airbnb is uh, set up for. 2021 Tops Chrome Platinum Anniversary, Roberto Clemente, just a base. So the base cards look cool in these holders. Uh, I don't think Chrome look as good in an SGC holder. I think they might look a little bit better um, in PSA with the frosted edges or even CSG, but they still look good. I think refractors look really good because the refractors stand out. Things that have white borders or white cards just look really good with a black frame. Darker bordered cards I don't think look as good. So I think the refractors and color refractors will be a little nicer than the base. But they still, I mean, it looks good. And it looks better in person than it does on camera. On camera, it appears maybe even a little darker than it is. But a gem 10 on the Clemente. Got a nice 2021 20, Panini Prism. Jamar Chase Rookie in an SGC 10. Another card. Wouldn't mind keeping, but probably the time to move it now. So... That's one I might bring to the National. Seems like the type of stuff people would love at a trade night. All right, 2021 Topps Chrome Platinum Anniversary. Roberto Clemente, Blue Mini Diamond Refractor, numbered to 199, SGC 10 Gem Mint. Here's something I pulled. I only opened like one, I think, retail pack of Prism. I got my hands on like four or five packs, whatever it was. I only opened one of them and I hit the uh, Rob Gronkowski black and white checker prism. So they're exclusive to those packs, one per pack, and it's a player collect, looked good, figure what the hell, why not send it in? Gem 10 on Gronk, future Hall of Famer. Here's a cool one here. It is a 2021 Topps Allen & Ginter Chrome Bryce Harper Blue Refractor, serial number to 150. This card, again, on camera, doesn't even do it justice. You hold this in like the right light, it just looks great. So a gem 10 on the Harper for the collection. Now some old stuff. 1912 Recruit Little Cigars. Patrick Moran, T207, SGC3. So there you go, Recruit Little Cigars. Pat Moran, he uh, was a player for the Phillies, and he was also a manager. And he was the manager of... The first Phillies team to win the pennant, the 1915 Phillies, who reached the World Series, would come up short to the Boston Red Sox. But Pat Moran, so a player and a manager during the course of his career for the Philadelphia Phillies. So got a three on that. And then a few of the bigger cards here. This is a 1936 National Chickle, National Chiclet, National, however you pronounce it, I think it's Chickle. Uh, more Wilson. So this is a cool card here. Received a one. No big deal. It's got like tape stains. Uh, to me, it's just cool because it's 1936 and it's an action shot, which you don't get many of. And it has documentation like cards versus fills. So you got the crowd in the background. You got fans in the stands. Just not something you see all that often. So very cool there. Perfect piece for the Phillies collection. This is an SGC3 on the 1936 National Chickle Jose Gomez. Uh, super light hitting guy, handful of hits in his career. But to me, this is just a great looking card. Card Again, you got the background of the stands and such, and then you just got the full uniform shot. So super cool. And then final card in the order, what's up, Bink Scott? is a 1937 Exhibits 4-on-1, Whitney, Walters, Camille, and more authentic. Minimum size, not met. So, no evidence of trimming, but minimum size, not met. But it is slabbed authentic. So, that's all I need for this. Just trying to uh, add some cool stuff into the collection. Add some different examples from different sets. All right, guys. I think I got through that pretty quick. I got to run to the post office. Appreciate you guys watching. Those who watched live or in the archive, post a comment down below. Let me know about some of your favorites. As always, I think we have a good blend, nice mix, some stuff that literally came out a week or two ago and some stuff that came out almost a century ago. So nice mix of baseball and some other sports. Appreciate you guys watching. And check out all the links in the description. Talk to you next time. Have a great one.